Hello everyone, today we do battery replacement and this time it will be for my iPhone 13 Pro which I use to make all my videos. This video will be longer than the usual because I want to give some tips and tricks for the beginners that want to repair their devices or want to get into the hobby. If you already spotted, the phone has broken screen and it has board damage and it's not really worth repairing but it works perfectly as camera even here i have black spot but yeah whatever so as camera it works perfectly but i want to replace the battery because it died a few times while i was making videos and while doing it i would like to give out some tips and tricks on how i do battery replacements for people that really want to do it but they don't know how and lately I've seen a lot of people destroying their phones just because they're trying to do something that they never did before. But firstly, I want to show you this. Um, the phone is on a really old uh, iOS version because why should I update it if I'm using it just as a camera? And as you can see, uh, the battery health is getting really low. So it's time for good replacement. And on those newer iPhones, here is where the nightmare starts. Usually the hardest part is taking off the screen without destroying it. This may sound stupid to people that are doing this on a daily basis, but I've seen people that have no experience in repairs just completely destroying the screen by separating it from the frame or ripping out the flex cable and that turns simple battery replacement to an expensive repair. So get yourself good screwdriver. That way you will avoid stripping the screws. Believe it or not, there are a lot of people doing it and also get a magnetic mat or just a mat to sort the screws and remember their position. So start by firstly removing the two bottom screws, but really don't forget about them because I've seen this also. Once they are out, you need to start thinking if you're investing in tools or it's just one time thing. If you're doing just one time repair, you don't need heat pad or any specialized tools for this. You just need to be careful and take your time while trying to remove the screen. I'm going to show you how I do it without any expensive tools. First, you have a suction cup. This is super great for one-time repairs or if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Then you will need a pick and some alcohol. Please keep in mind that this is not alcohol from the pharmacy. So get some alcohol on the pick and then try to sip this alcohol between the metal frame and the screen. This way you will dissolve the glue that is holding the display then get something sharp and try to stick the sharp tool you have just above the charging port. That way you won't cut anything. Once it reaches the port, it won't do any damage. As you can see, it's right between the screen and the metal frame, just like that. This way you have larger gap and you can pour in some more alcohol to soften the adhesive. Now I'll start pulling with the suction cup, but don't try to press the metal thing. I'll just hold it in place and as you can see it gets loose. And now I have opening and I can insert the pick. That's probably the most annoying part till you get here. So don't rush it, don't try to do anything fast because you'll just break the screen. Afterwards you can start moving the pick to separate the screen from the adhesive. And if you reach to the point where you feel a lot of resistance, just add some little bit of alcohol and it will get easier. I can't stress this enough. Take your time. Don't rush and you won't break anything. As you can see, this screen is already broken. So I have to work around the edges very carefully as I don't want to mess this up even further. Just slowly walk the sides. If you reach to a point where this side is not moving, uh, try the other side. It will take some time, but eventually you will open it. Once the screen is free on the sides, watch out the top of the screen because you don't want to pour alcohol uh, where the cameras are. So take your time, don't rush it. Always use just a little bit of alcohol on the pick. And this is it. If everything goes smooth, you're here. And the hardest part is done. 
the screen is already opened and you have access to the battery. Second important thing I want to mention is always keep track on the screws. Remember where are they coming from. If you decide to put the wrong screw, um, you may puncture the board and that will be an expensive repair. So keep track on your screws. Like I said, the hardest part is removing the screen or the back, depending the model you're trying to fix. Now three screws and I have access to the battery connector. I like to use my fingers because I can easily reach with my nails the connector and just disconnect the battery. If you want to fancy it, you can use some tools like picks or whatnot. As for the battery removing process, I like to use again some alcohol. I spray alcohol on the pick like this and it will dissolve the battery tabs extremely fast. Don't worry if you don't overdo the alcohol, nothing will be damaged. Here the battery was incorrectly placed with its adhesive on top of the charging coil. So if this happens to you, you can just ignore it. This is just a top layer and the charging coil is working perfectly. You won't need a replacement. Now, with the battery out, we can talk about batteries. That should have been the first thing we need to talk, but anyway, you have to get the correct battery. Get the best quality if you wanna keep your phone working for a longer time. The best one you can get is from Apple, obviously, and here I'm using original battery, but this one was pulled off from a broken device. This battery has 100% battery health, so it's absolutely brand new. But if you don't have original battery or have no access to such part, you can always get an off-brand battery. Just don't expect five bucks battery from Amazon to be the same as your original. And please don't look into those uh, larger capacity batteries. I kind of feel they're a scam. If I'm wrong, you can let me know in the comment. Usually when you get a battery, the adhesive comes with it. You get the battery adhesive and the display seal. Keep in mind that this seal won't be as good as the original. After you're done with the repair, you should forget about the water resistance. You will never be able to close the phone as good as it was in the factory. But this seal will stop any dust getting inside your phone, so it's really good to have. Now, with the new battery connected, I can proceed with the repair. Now, here is another tip. Don't glue down the new battery. Firstly, you should always just connect it and turn on the phone. See if the battery behaves normal. See if there is battery health because some of the defective batteries won't display battery health. Use the phone for a few minutes. Maybe it will start rebooting if the battery is defective. And if you already glued the part, this will be another set of problems. And if you have warranty for the part, it won't be accepted. So with the new battery already installed, I can check if the phone is working as normal. Since this is an older iOS version, uh, now if I go to battery settings, I won't see battery health. And in order to get back the battery health, I need to get the original battery BMS and uh, solder it to the new battery and so on and so on. I'm, I'm sure people are familiar with the whole process. Luckily, Apple has changed their policies or allowing us to pair our parts without the need of additional devices or tools. So this is what we're going to do today. I will just have to update the phone. And yeah, it seems this will take a while. So I'm going to take a break and grab some food. See you in a second. See, it took a second. So with the update done, I can now move on with the repair. Go away Apple, I don't want to share anything. Like I mentioned, I like to check for battery health because defective batteries don't display it. Here it doesn't matter if you used original or non-original battery, you'll still have the battery health after iOS 18. But since I got original battery, I can use the pairing tool and complete the repair. This way I will remove the message you saw that the battery might be not genuine. Here you just follow up the steps and reboot the phone. Quite easy, right? If you didn't use a genuine Apple battery, you can end the repair here. Just glue down the battery and put the phone together. But since my battery was genuine, I can now use the pairing tool and pair the battery with the phone. 
just connect the phone to a Wi-Fi, wait a few seconds, and it will verify if the battery is genuine. Once this step is complete, you will be able to continue and pair the battery. All right, this is done. Everything looks good and I can just reboot the phone. Even though everything looked normal, I like to do one more final check before assembling the phone. Check for reboots, check if battery health is present or check for unusual behavior of the phone. Now, as you can see, I have 100% battery health and no message that the battery is not genuine. I can also verify if the pairing was complete because the phone now has history in uh, parts replaced. With all the checks done, everything seemed to be perfect, so I can close this repair. So to sum it up, please don't be cheap on the battery. Get the best quality you can afford. Avoid those higher capacity batteries because most of them are scam and I can't recommend them. You don't need to buy expensive tools just because you want to do a single repair for yourself. Save your money because it's summer and you can go on a vacation. As you can see for this video, I use just basic tools. But if you really want to spend your money on a single tool, I recommend that to be the screwdriver. It will help you a lot. And the last and most important advice I'll give is be ready to fail. We learn from our mistakes. Yep, you're gonna break few devices, but hey, that's like next time you won't. I hope someone will find this video helpful and it will help him in his future repair. If there is a topic you would like me to discuss with you, just let me know in the comments below. Until then, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.